What's going on guys, Counting Gains back here again. Today we have a massive video. So this is the two Johnnies tricked by the world's biggest catfish. The two Johnnies were recently on the Fellas podcast, which are huge YouTubers from the UK. And obviously for Paddy's Day, St. Patrick's Day, they were on it. So shout out to the UK from Ireland, man. My beautiful UK neighbors. This one should be incredible. The whole world, the whole Europe anyway, has heard about this cat, big world's, you know, world's biggest catfish, which is basically someone that tricks you and scams you on the internet, you know, trying to say that they're in love with you, something like that. So this one should be absolutely fire, man. Hit that subscribe button, check out my Patreon as well. We're gonna hear exactly what the two Johnnies have to say about this. Johnny Schmacks, I believe his name is, or Johnny B, one of them. Let's get it. Well, this is actually how I first heard about you guys, right? was okay. the, the catfish scandal. Yeah, now, this one is this was mega and from what I heard right now we're, we're in close contact with Spotify and we always want to make sure we are the fucking number one show mm. but unfortunately around a certain time of year you guys had some fucking shit story <laughs> that has gone and taken our number one spot and I my sister lives in Ireland okay and I said have you heard about this story yeah and she says it's all anybody fucking talks about <laughs> you big. took over an entire nation's attention about the time you got catfished. I still don't know the story, but Johnny's so horn. Yeah. Got us the greatest piece horn. of content of yeah. all time. Yeah. This is, I mean, you guys made it into like a fucking three part series or something. Well, like that. so long story short. Yeah. I um, got talking to a girl last Christmas on Instagram. She was from like an hour away near Limerick played like near Limerick an hour away. I thought the guys are from Dublin. Like, <laughs> traditionally oh, they're from Kerry they're from Kerry or something like that which is an hour away that's far for a girl from but anyway Irish music is that a bit of you I was, I was yeah. that was turned on straight away yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, all, and then um, into like the get like football and stuff and uh, had like 15,000 followers really good looking girl 15,000 followed by a lot of people I knew huh. okay like followed by like you know players not like in the like New York sense of the word. I mean like like <laughs> football players. Right, yeah. right, right. Followed by like women who worked in sport, followed by like professional female athletes. Yeah, so she had a bit of a reputation. Hundred percent. Followed her and then one night have a couple of drinks, replied to her story, got chatting. After like a week, got the the number. Or so he he actually initiated contact with her. Oh my god, bro! These scams are getting so sophisticated, guys. You gotta protect yourself, man. Don't be trying to scam me. I've tried to get scammed like three or four times. Never got scammed. You guys can't scam me. I've tried to get scammed a couple days ago. I put it up on my Instagram. It's hilarious, laughing, all that stuff. But if you actually fall for these scams, it's terrible, man. Texting on WhatsApp, and then I was like, oh, we this like, well, what are we doing here? Let's fucking meet for a coffee. Let's go for a walk. Whatever. So. Uh, or on yeah, we're on the I'm, I'm, coffee. Yeah. I'm on the way. I was going to open a few drawers. I'm on the way, <laughs> and uh, she rings and is like, "My aunt just died." Hmm. And so I'm halfway to Limerick in the car, and I'm enough. like, "Well, sorry to hear. Sorry, like, what do you say?" Yeah, I'm like, "I'm on fucking horn. What do we do?" No, no yeah. like, so, so sorry to hear that. And then I went on her Instagram, and she had it on her story. A photograph of her and her aunt being like R.I.P. fucking yep. Mary or whatever her name was, been like the best aunt ever. Load of stories, all that shit. And then, wow. So a week later, it's like a bit of text and it's like, all right, let's meet up. She got COVID. This was back when COVID was yeah. a big deal. So I says, well, right, when people get COVID, she's got to isolate or whatever. So then we're out in Dublin. And she's like, oh, my, my seven days, my isolation is up. I'm out, I'm out in Dublin. Buzzing. The oh, horn is back. The horn is back. <laughs> uh, barking and howling. And <laughs> back to the future. That future. horn will put you guys astray, man. You guys need to control your goddamn self, man. You know what I mean? Start working out more or something. Okay. Episode three. I actually kind of bricked up thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> let it out, Talk let, to me, man. So we're out, me and Johnny and a friend of ours. And we go to like this real busy uh part of town and uh she's like oh we're here we're in this pub we're in what? ryan's so we go in and she's always talking about her friend and in the podcast we call her nikki she's always talking about oh i live with my friend nikki and she's like i didn't really know you guys but my friend nikki's a big fan and then nikki would message me on instagram of her own profile as well and like i can't believe you're talking to my friend cora this is hilarious like i love you guys i'm telling her to listen to your podcast and all what? and nikki is going out with the guy who plays uh, Gaelic football at like a, a good level. He's like a well-known guy. Yeah. And they're going out and like, we've met him. He's real, like 100%. And then we go to the bar and it's like so busy. It's crazy busy. Can't find her. And we're like, fuck this shit. So we get out of there. Next morning, she's messaging, ringing, being like, 
fucking so sorry I couldn't meet you last night. We were going drunk. So she, you spoke to her on the phone. It wasn't oh, yeah, just yeah, text. Yeah, 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 yeah. She rang. I was like, so sorry about last night. Bro, was, this is the most intricate, biggest rigmarole that I've ever heard in my life. Dude, if you're a chick or a guy doing this, this is, <laughs> I won't even say lame and shit, but this is just, oh my God, bro. Like, like if she's not, like, bro, she should have just like put up her own profile and said, this is what I looked like. Do you want to go out with me or something? Being a bit more forward. That's Bro, this is just the biggest ring roll I've ever heard in my life. It was crazy. I lost you. Like, big, it's a big club. Like, copy it. I couldn't yeah. find you. Right? It's no worries. So then I'm on the way home and I'm like, I'm sick of this, Johnny. Like, drop me to her house. I need to meet her now. We're putting this, we're like, figuratively putting this to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to meet her and we're either going to get on or we're not because this is dragging on now. There's only so long you can text somebody yeah, yeah. and it's like, well, this is going nowhere. So we go down to the house and her friend Nikki is there and we go, oh, hey, how's it going? And her housemates. And I meet them, we're having a chat. And they're probably like, that's fucking your man out of the two Johnny's like, like we're well known in Ireland, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, TV yeah, show yeah. and shit. People are like, that's fucking your man. So then she's like, they are, they are. Oh, Cora's just gone to the shop. We're going to have breakfast. She's just gone to the shop. What the fuck? So I sit down at the kitchen table and I'm like, all right, well, he's gone home and it's like two hour drives to get home. Say hello oh, to Webflow. Bro, the rigmarole, I'm telling you guys, this, this is the wildest story I've ever heard in my life, guys. This is like one of the wildest stories. I almost can't believe that it's true. I'd love to see proof of like text of this because like the two Johnnies are really big and there's no hate on the two Johnnies. I do love the two Johnnies, obviously. Uh, you know, shout out Ireland and all that. But like, it just to hear, just to see the text because like, man, like the, it almost is just not true, guys. Like, I would not go to the lengths of this person. <laughs> Bro, what? Yeah. So we're in Dublin, so I'm like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll hang on. And then after a while, she's like, look, I'll, I'm, I'm cooking food. You want some? I'm like, yeah, I'm starving. I'll have some to eat. And then as I'm eating like a full fry up, it occurs to me, if I'm eating this, why has she gone to the shop? What does yeah. she need that isn't on my plate? So then after like 30 minutes, I'm like, where the fuck is your one I'm supposed to be meeting? Where's Cora? So I said it to her, her friend Nikki, I was like, I'm, I'm just going to go. I'll get like a taxi to the bus station and get a bus home, whatever. And she's like, no, 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 I'll drive you home because I'm going visiting my boyfriend who's like kind of down your direction. And I'm like, okay, fine. I need a lift home. I'm dying from the drink. Yeah. She gives me the lift home the whole way, two hours, drops me home. There's Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Yeah, right. Then... So did, were you asking Nikki questions Where, where's, about... Where's Cora? Were you yeah. just asking about what she like, like... Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. But like, so Cora would be sending me voice notes and videos from the house. Being like, oh, we're having a party. Do I have to put on one of your songs? It's right. really funny. Right, right, like, right. Like, the girls are delighted that yeah. I'm talking to you. All this like... Even right. though Cora would never be in the videos. Never in it. Just a POV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, POV. See, the horn, the horn doesn't have eyes. Like a shoot, yeah. em, see that. A shoot em up game. <laughs> like a shoot em up game. You know what I mean? This is a good story. I'm glad this happened to I'm in... Yeah, I'm so... Yeah, this so uh, it dropped me Price. home and then I went out to Johnny's gaff and we're like, look, do you know what? I've actually never really like creeped on her Instagram too hard. I'm going to start going through all her photos and she had videos up going back years of like her out in America on like a, a student summer J1 holiday where she's at games and she's tagging the people who were playing. They're commenting back. Like it's got layers. She's tagged in photos of other people and I heard that girl is going out with that guy. So then we really tell Guys, let me just pause. For, I'll talk for the next 20 seconds. I won't, I won't put, talk again. The two Johnnies, please just do me a big favor. Just blast her, guys. Just just put her on blast, man. I don't understand how these guys, I think they're like media trained or like Spotify is telling them not to say it. Bro, I would blast this girl so hard. Like, bro, <laughs> that shit would be everywhere. Bro, if you try to trick me, if you're good to me, I will love you forever. If you try and if you try and pull a fast on me, bro, I'm gonna blast you. Ever, I, like I put your shit on Instagram. I don't give a sh I don't give a f, guys. You know what I'm saying? I will blast you. I put her name. I put her actual face ever. I'd say, don't get scammed by this b i t c h. I would just blast her. Two Johnnies, please just put her on blast, man. I don't understand you guys. Great looking guys, man. Get any woman in Ireland, like I don't know why you don't do that. Like no one's gonna think worse of you. Like do you know what I mean? No one is gonna think worse of you. They're gonna be happy for that. Put her on blast, man. I would. I'm not that good. That's why when I get 100,000 subscribers, bro, you listen up, guys. I looked into it and it's like, man, the whole thing is fake. She's fake. Like, so there's, there's Cora. Commenting on her video is like Mr. Stella, who's a real guy. Okay. She was having multiple conversations with real people in the comment section. Right. And with fake people.
So when I said to her on the phone, I was like, I said, she rang me, uh, I rang Cora and I was like, Cora, you are Nikki, why are you doing this? Like, you are, it's a whole fake profile, what the fuck? And she's like, no, I'm not, what are you talking about? <sighs> so it turns out, well, uh, the first thing I did was I rang Johnny and I rang all our, we have a WhatsApp group of like six, seven yeah. guys, our close yeah. mates. And I was like, you have to come in. I need to tell you. So, I mean, I was a little bit embarrassed, but at the same time, nah, that, it's I, best to talk about sick. it just to get it out. So she had about 10 fake profiles that were like really active that looked really good. And then they would all message me being like, Cora had to run home. Her sister is sick and her phone died. You're a fucking dickhead for not texting her back. Like she's in the hospital now. She's not well. What all this shit. Fuck? Yeah. And then I, when, when I put out, when we put out the episode and I told the first story, the amount of people who got in touch. So it turns out she had catfished. Honestly, I reckon about 200 guys. What? what? Every guy we were showing you GA who plays hurling and football. Nearly every guy has a story. There was a big, a big team in Ireland, a successful team, who had five guys oh, off the team bro. were talking to her at the same time. Bro, what? And it's no, Cora. Yeah, yeah. And nobody bro. wanted to come into the dressing room and say, I've hey, been I've been catfished. Bro. So because nobody would put their hand up and say it happened to me, she was able to keep doing it. And it turned out she'd been doing it for about 12 years. Oh, what the f***? Man. Bro, I'm done with this. What? Bro, this isn't even real life, bro. This isn't even real life. Bro, why don't they put her on blast? That's like a public service announcement. Like, that's like a public service announcement, like. 12 years, 200 dudes. Obviously, I don't play GA, guys. So I definitely didn't get that message. <laughs> but that's nuts, guys. 200 dudes. Man, y'all been look a fool. That's what you guys happened. Oh, stop. 12 years. Forget about that. That's... Bro, this is, this is not even real life, guys. Why wouldn't they put her name out there? You know? She was able to keep doing it. And it turned out she'd been doing it for about 12 years. What the fuck? <gasps> Holy shit. Shit. Professional sports people across multiple genres. Guys off television, music, everyone. Like famous. It, it, so, so it, it's music. How come she never hit up County Gaines? I'm insulted, guys. I never got scammed by some chick. Damn it. Uh, to be honest, guys, if I'm ever on Tinder or if I'm dating a chick or going on a date or whatever, I have a girlfriend now. I would just immediately, after like three or four texts, say, hey, you want to meet? She says no. I say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's it. That's me, guys. I've never got scammed. That's three texts. You want to meet up? Uh, I don't know. Fuck yourself. Delete it. Fuck you. Next, bitch. So it's this Nikki person all along, right? Yeah, mm. and she had multiple profiles. Like back in 2010, she was doing it off a profile called Hannah Ferguson, who was in Northern Ireland and was like catfished like a professional boxer and a singer. And then... Uh, she went to college in a different country and catfished guys over there. And then she'd have a new profile. Um, I can't even think. But she had like four main profiles that like did most of the damage. Yeah. Who were like, Emma McCarran was not a good one. And it turned out that the girls whose images she was using were a circle of friends in England. So that's how... Yeah. She would rob. So she would be able to tag other people yes. in her photos because yeah. she just had yeah. this friendship group. She robbed an, ent an entire friendship circle from another country <laughs> and made up new profiles of all of them and they'd all comment on each other's photos oh and tag each other. Geez. Have you got a screenshot of the I want to see the yes. account. Well, I don't, I don't want to put it on camera. But oh, right. Well, we show us after. Show us yeah, after. Yeah. When you were speaking to her on the phone, did you not recognize Nikki's voice when you met her? Fair point. So she had a way of like changing her voice ever so slightly. So yeah. uh, Cora had an interesting backstory in that her mom was from Monaghan, which is like in Ulster, and her dad was from Limerick, which is kind of down near where we are. And then she lived in Monaghan until she was 10, moved to Limerick from 10 to 18, then went to college in Scotland for three years studying dance, and then moved back to Ireland and had been in London. So her accent was a bit of a mishmash. Yeah. I can relate. And how do you say that to a girl like, you know, it's like yeah. her, like you have a mad accent. Yeah. And then Nikki in real life 
had a kind of a straighter accent. So she just had a way of, of kind tweaking of tweaking it a bit, just tweaking it a little bit. But when I saw, I went on Nikki's um, Instagram and it was a video of her out one night drunk, like with her mates. And I was like, that's it. That's the voice. Because if you can imagine, I'd only ever spoken to Cora over the phone. Yeah. Mm. And people sound slightly different over the phone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, get yeah, the yeah. bass yeah, and yeah, the voice yeah, yeah. and all. So it was fucking weird. Um, and we had a, this we're saying we had like um, Zoom calls with the people who made the Tinder swindler. Bro, this is the most insane story I've ever heard in my life, guys. I'm actually freaking out. I haven't heard it in such detail. Yeah. So you said this on the show, actually. So what Netflix had reached out to you. Yeah, but we're not going to do it because if Nikki, do, we won't do it without Nikki. She, uh, she has to tell her side of the story. Bro, Otherwise Netflix reached out to you? What, dude? This ain't even real life, bro. This internet thing is all. This is just epic, guys. This internet thing. What? Netflix. Oh my god, two Johnnies. Please do the Netflix documentary. Just put her on blast, man. Who cares, man? <laughs> I mean, people put you guys on blast all the time. I would have no sympathy for these people, bro. This is crazy. Especially if you're getting money out of people, or 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 breaking people's hearts. Unbelievable. Otherwise, it's just a witch hunt. Oh, son. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. You know, that's that's true. Okay, yeah. Because it just makes her look awful. Yeah. What, 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 if, what, even if they would like blur her face and yeah. and whatever? Yeah, they, yeah. Off, they offered that they to offered her. They offered that, yeah. She, doesn't want she still didn't want to do it. Yeah. Which is up to her. <clears throat> yeah. And oh my God. That now would that would be, enough. that would do Holy serious yeah. numbers. But that. it is a tricky one in Ireland because like... Because people must know who this person yeah. is now. Yeah, the world is a small place. No, the world... The world is not a small place. Ireland's a small place. You go to America, Canada, nobody knows anyone, guys. It's there's hundreds of millions of people. You go anywhere in England, nobody knows. In Ireland, everyone knows each other, guys. Guarantee someone knows this chick. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, that's why, yeah, especially yeah. in Ireland as well. But we don't. We didn't want any, any negativity on her. Like we just wanted her to stop doing it. Yeah, but like she is catfished, like policemen, loads of people, <laughs> like yeah. famous singers, TV presenters. <laughs> Sports They've people. got this wrong, but did someone at one of your shows say those are photos of me? Yeah, so we, I first told the story live at the Three Arena last April. And then that night we got an email being like, so I quickly put up on screen the photo of the girl I, I thought I was talking to. Yeah. The core what, of the actual photo, like yeah. the real ones. Yeah. The core yeah, yeah. photo. Yeah. Who yeah. was actually a, um, an English girl. Okay. Yeah, but who didn't know her, yeah. her photos were being used. And we got an email that night being like, that was my photo on screen. My name is like fucking Mary, whatever. Um, Mwern. So you had the real Cora, t technically. Well, or so we, what she emailed us that night being like, my name is Mwern. Yeah. That's my photo. I was in the crowd. People were like slagging me. Please don't use that photo again. Another fake account. Oh, fuck, oh. man. This, this so right. It wasn't the Cora account. It was another. Yo, <laughs> bro, I'm just going. This is probably. This is like the craziest thing I've ever seen, guys. Like, leave in the comments, yo, chat. This is nuts. This is like a murder mystery type thing. This is crazy. So, somebody else's profile, she also used that as well? Oh, my days, bro. This, this, is, this is insane, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Nikki, uh, Nikki was at the show. Nikki was at the gig. <gasps> because she did not know that we were going to tell the catfish story. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my God, yo. This is fucking crazy. Cray, cray. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> now I know why this fucking episode bang. Yeah, yeah. All right, you can this have it. You can have it. <laughs> You've got to oh. you gotta listen to it. Catfish part one and two. There, yeah. is, there is no part three. Oh, okay, and yeah. I don't think there ever will be. We're kind of, we want to put it like, let, let it go. But it was a crazy. So, so my main thing out of it is yeah. that I think all social media should be verified. Everyone should have a blue tick. That's yeah, nice. a, an ID to it. Like, yeah. yeah. So well, uh, the Nikki girl, you must have like had some confrontation with her or something. something did, no, did, did you confront that, right? her about you not, about, about it? Like, was there a moment on, just on, on the phone? phone. Yeah, I rang her. And, but did she go like you know, she denied it to begin with? She but, but did, no. did she had she ever admitted to it? No, she never oh. admitted it. And then that day, that Sunday after, like I rang her and um, me and Johnny were talking about it. I just yeah. I blocked her. <laughs> deleted all the messages yeah. which I kind of regret now for content but look yeah. you need to move on and forget about it and um so were you actually that like, obviously you were a bit a bit hurt by the situation because you, you had been catfished by it yeah but looking like for me I look back I, I would look back on that just like what a fucking roller coaster yeah. Like, like, yeah I mean at the time so I, I was going out with a girl and then we broke up and then a couple of months later it was the first person oh. 
one. Oh, you'd been texting. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, I apologize. I think in one video I said, Johnny, you're like, you know, a bit of like a loser for succumbing to that. But that's not how it is, guys. You know, I actually, that's I'm being satirical. That's actually not how it is at all. She was like preying on people, you know what I mean, that were fresh out of a, a bad breakup and stuff like that, guys. That's actually, that's worse. Bro, if I was, if I was Johnny... Bro, you get blasted on the news, guys. Like, hi, bro. I'm trying to get views over here, guys. You know what I mean? I, you get blasted, bro. Like, just straight up, guys. Like, if he, if she, if she's playing with your emotions like that, well, we're we gonna see who's we gonna see whose emotions gonna get played. Maybe I'll tell you that much, bro. I'll tell you that for free, man. That's so. And he just went through a bad breakup. She, she's playing with his heartstrings, guys. That's how you. That's how bad things happen. Let me tell you. And then we broke up. And then a couple of months later, it was the first person. <sighs> I had been texting. Oh, so that's tough. <laughs> and like, you know, I'm in my 30s. It's like, fucking hell, dating is hard. Yeah. You know, it's like, so for a week or two, I was like sad about the whole thing. Yeah. But then you just fucking pick yourself up. I have a girlfriend now who's amazing. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but she's better looking than Cora. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it all worked out. But like, um, I see you, mate. yeah, I the, see the main you. thing was just come out and tell the story because that's how she kept getting away with it. Yeah. Is because no guy. Wow. Was ever going to come out and be like, this? Yeah, yeah. I've been catfished. And then the newspapers wow. in Ireland were so coy about it. We kept getting phone calls from our solicitor, been like, they want to run this, but they don't know what to do. Is this true? Is that true? Right. Oh. So they, because I can imagine that would have, that would have hit the news pretty, pretty big time over there, right? Yeah. And like nobody has any ill will towards the girl who was doing it. Like, you know, we, she's hopefully, we hope that she's okay. Yeah, yeah, of she's course, better. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we did get several solicitor's letters. <laughs> Re well, from her to saying like, stop telling this story type. Mm. I suppose, yeah, I mean, you try everything really to, to, to stop the story going out. You can't really yeah. blame her for that, but wow. Well, I mean, the bigger picture there guys is, and what we're not, we don't know, like, I don't know, has he said it in the two Johnny's thing, but you know, she might've had insane mental health issues you know, like, we're talking, like, next level, you know what I'm saying, so, like, we're talking next level type stuff that, like, obviously is really sad, that obviously she, she feels a certain way, she, she probably feels that she's not good looking, whatever the case may be, she feels that she can't actually pull a high status man like Johnny Smacks, I, I can't, Johnny B and Johnny Smacks, that's two of them, so one of them, anyway, she feels that she can't pull a guy like that or she can't get a guy like that. Guys, to be honest with you, if, you know, women, it's not hard to be uh, attractive. Wear a nice dress, go to the gym every day, you know what I mean? You know, look, try and look nice. I don't know, get your hair done. It's not really that hard, guys. You know what I mean? For guys, it's a lot harder. So, you know, shout out to that, to that girl, man. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, you didn't catfish me. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't one of those 300 guys and singers and professional boxers you didn't catfish. Dude, if you did that shit to me, that would be blasted. Ever. Ain't no solicitor notes coming to me. I don't even own anything, guys. I live in the freaking... I live in the mom's basement. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to me, guys. I don't have any money. So, <laughs> you know, solicit me all you want, man. Send me those solicitor letters all you want. I don't freaking matter, man. Civil lawsuit. Who cares, guys? I don't own anything. What are you going to take off me? My car? take it you know what i mean it's worth like 400 euro i love you guys all man leave in the comments below do you guys think that she she her name and her story should be blasted everywhere i saw i saw a news article in ireland it said some old guy six year old you know fell on hard times and he he he, he actually didn't file for his taxes one year and they blasted his name everywhere for five thousand euro we're talking about playing with people's heartstrings here we're talking about life and death matters here guys you know what i mean hardships in in, in relationships and and you know, he, Johnny Smacks might have wanted to kill himself after. You know, you guys, you guys don't know the mental health implications that that could have caused. And we have guys over here, 5,000 year old men that are getting, you know, blasted the names in the news. I don't know, guys. Doesn't seem fair to me. I love you guys all, man. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.